Hey, so this is a really big topic, but I have a moment here while the Max is over here cutting some herbs and Sunny's sleeping. And I've been wanting to do a live on the, hey Max, remember those plants are still babies, okay? Try the, try the lavender or the rosemary, but if we cut all those basil leaves off, that plant's gonna die. Remember, that's what happened last time. But look, there's the purple ones too, and you can cut that aloe vera, and you can cut the rosemary down there. Okay. And then just, just be aware that when you're cutting with those scissors, if you cut really close to your hand, you can you can cut your hand, your little your skin. Okay, that's cool. What about the rosemary way down there? He's learning how to cut with scissors. <laughs> so, um, um, I wanted to talk a little bit about. Okay, so I've been building. Uh, with our group, Techno Tutor, for has it been six years now? Six, and uh, and then now I've been a mom for Max is about to turn three, Sunny just turned one, um, and it's really interesting because I've listened to a lot of material on success, and I've been to lots of seminars and lots of you know, listen to lots of guru people talking about success and there's a lot of mixed information out there. And I think it's really easy to be constantly listening to success material and then get this feeling in your mind because you're imagining yourself being successful as though it's like you're getting that, that imaginary feeling of success that's not real. Um, and then you, and then, and then it's like a roller coaster. You'll feel really good after you listen to the hey, seminar or so, the audio. So, hey, what's up? So, <laughs> you might want to close them before you put them in your pocket. There you go. Can you get them off your fingers? There you go. Okay, so. Um, he needs like a little belt for his tools. <laughs> I'm just talking on this video. You can cut that. You can also cut the rosemary. That one needs cutting. Maybe we can use it tonight. If you cut some rosemary, we could, we could use it on some chicken. Yeah, that makes sense. No, no, that one's rooted in to the ground now. So that's why you, that's why you can cut that one and then it'll just grow back. Do you want to get some? Yeah, you can eat it. We could we could chop it up and eat it. We could put it on our meat or on potatoes, other things. Okay. He's telling me to stop doing the video. <laughs> okay, so um, just really quick, I wanna say that um, I've been, it, it's when you've been building your, or when you, when you have this false sense of success and then you, uh, you imagine it in your mind, you tell yourself you're successful, you convince yourself of that, but you're not actually walking it into practical, physical reality. So I've learned a lot of lessons in terms of um, the practical, physical reality of, of how it's not blissful, it's not fun all the time, it's challenging, it's, um, you know, when people talk about grinding, it's like that, you know, like in the sense that it's, 
it's something where you have to apply yourself daily, physically, and you don't get that that feeling of things necessarily being going the right way all the time. So you don't get that dopamine hit of feeling really good about what you're doing necessarily all the time. But it's about having a vision of what you want to create in your world and then you have to practically walk the steps in this world. And the elite know this. That's why they spend 10, 20 years planning um, a, a skyscraper being built. Like that doesn't happen overnight. They spend time planning everything out, looking at everything from every angle. And do you have the vision to be able to plan something 20 years, 10, 20 years down the road, um, and then apply yourself daily towards something that's actually going to be successful? I mean, people go to jobs every day, but where do you actually get in 10 years? Where do you actually get to in 20 years? Are you actually building something so that, um, you know, you have uh, a way to actually support people and change people's lives and change this world we're living in, or even even just to create financial freedom for yourself. Um, I mean, we don't even necessarily have the wherewithal or the vision to eat what's effective for our physical bodies, right? And that takes vision too. But um, something I've learned from being a mom, and I know I haven't been a mother very long, but I've taken care of, of children for a very long time, like throughout my life, but being a mother is a very fast lesson in all in success because you really have to have vision of what you're creating as a child and for people i was talking to somebody the other day who said when they have when they had kids they didn't see it as creating them they saw it as um well, they didn't know what they saw it as, but they didn't, they didn't see it as creating them um, when they had children. And then I kind of asked more details and it's like that, okay, that person put their kids in daycare, they put their kids in school, their kids had troubled teenage years, like all this stuff. Um, and they weren't, if they were to reflect back and take a lot of the emotional um, bias out of it, they, they weren't totally satisfied with how their kids were you know, how the, their kid's childhood went and the whole thing, right? And their kids weren't really as successful as they had hoped they would be when they were born. Like, again, so with motherhood, it's, it's, you start with a vision, right? You're creating a human being. You're building a human being. And when they're tiny, tiny babies, you are just putting yourself completely into it. Like, you are there present 24 7 you're not sleeping well um you're not getting you're not there for, it's not about you in the sense of the idea you had of yourself before you had kids in the sense of like oh yeah i'm gonna get to have time to go to the gym i'm gonna get time to have a you know a shower when i need it like i'm gonna get time to make food for myself when i need it all that stuff goes out the door because you're doing something that requires vision, that requires you to put your whole self and all of your abilities and strengthen yourself and toughen up a bit, like let go of a lot of your anxieties and fears because you have to be present and there for your child. And I know letting go of your anxieties and fears is not something that's super easy. It's not, like it's taken me, I mean, I wanna say it's taken me 10 years of really, not, I want to say consistent application, but in the beginning, it was a lot of like, um, you know, I'd go, I'd go a week of feeling really, really stressed. And then at that point, like wondering what, what is going on and then working myself through writing and self forgiveness to support myself, to walk myself out of it. Um, and to the point where now 10 years down the road, right, that required vision to <laughs> required vision to like actually do that and support myself. But now there's a point of, um, or now my daily uh, ability to be stable and just be here um, and not go through a lot of anxiety and fear um, that, you know, that's just kind of 
rampant in our <laughs> in our society and that's for a lot of reasons everyone should go and look and investigate how um, dopamine is affected by participating in social media um, and being on your phone and uh, like TV and Netflix and all that stuff um, because it's a actually a huge source for anxiety and now you have all of these people coming out saying they have anxiety disorders or general anxiety disorder um, stuff like that and just that constant internal experience of friction and stress um, and all of that is keeping us from being able to actually focus on a vision so for example if you if you're if we're looking at the example of um, having children as your vision raising creating a human being um, it's very easy to divert your focus off of the vision of what you're creating as a child um, on on all the bullshit stuff that doesn't matter and then if you're dumping social media um, and other things that trigger dopamine release on top of that <clears throat> what you'll find is that you'll take a lot of your anxiety out on your children which creates a consequence so one of the other one of the other titles that I was going to do for this video is your success your level of success in life comes from your mother because your mother is that example in your life of stability it's that it's it's that first example of stability in your life and each one of you can look for yourself like how stable was your mother how stable for real not just an image of stability how actually stable and um, effective was she within herself to the point where she could guide you and support you to actually walk yourself into this world now let's say your mother wasn't very stable that doesn't mean there's no chance for you but it's like that's how we give kids a, a um, an effective foundation for their life right um, it's really important for mothers mothers to consider this also for dads because think about it the stability of finances and stability and and, and space for a mother to be able to be present and home with her kids comes from the dad right and being able to create that environment where kids have someone there with them um, who really is very stable um, and who doesn't have that anxiety and stress going on within them, that is key. So one of the, one of the best success lessons that I've learned has been since having children, realizing like I am much more capable than I have ever realized and I'm much, and, and if I toughen up and really put myself into focusing on my vision and doing the daily step-by-step -step things that are required to build what it is that I want to create in this world, to make my vision something that is real physically, it requires that day-by-day -day progressive accumulation of physical progress in this world so with for, with kids like for max like it's being with him daily um being there for him in moments where they, there might be some instability in in the sense of we're doing something new um being there present for him not having anxiety and stress and fear within myself not sitting around back chatting about my husband not sitting around back chatting about my kids not sitting around back chatting about shit that I see on the internet, like removing the things from my life that are not actually supportive of me creating what I see as this 10 year, 20 year vision for, for building my children and, and just focusing on what they need here. And then also supporting myself within what I need, obviously like that, that the, the, there's this very subtle point around this whole idea of mothers like losing themselves in having their children and like oh don't lose yourself in having your kid make sure you have time for yourself like there's a level of and 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 maybe the the people who are saying those kinds of things are really sincere but there is a slight level of deception within that in the sense that 
you need to go back and look at what your starting point is for having kids and you can alter your starting point like like your starting point can be new right now like okay uh, i had kids because oops like i made a mistake uh, and, and i had children uh but now you could decide like okay no now i'm creating a human being and i'm gonna have to walk through some mistakes that i made but now like i'm actually going to be here and present and support them and then i also have to support myself within that too a big part of this whether you're the mother point is just an example that i'm using because it it takes so much of you it just takes you all the time you don't get to have a break like there is no um, breaking from being a mom if you're going to be really effective um, but a big point within that is supporting myself within okay if frustration and stress and anxiety start to come up to deal with that immediately and so I see like all of this now that I'm also like and I also have been before I had kids walking in business like looking at how you develop an actual structure of something that actually has a massive effect on so many people in this world it's the exact same point in the sense of th there can be no rest no breaks in the sense of this idea of a rest this idea of a break it's just you put yourself fully into some in, into what you want to build and you focus on it all the time and it's that is how we create things in this world and the only reason we would resist that and say, oh, you know, that's something that's going to be too stressful for me if I were to, it's like too much. It's just, it, what do you mean no breaks, no rest? Like, what are you talking about? That's, that's just, that just sounds like you'd wear yourself out completely, you know? And the reality is, like, how else do you think things are going to change in this world to the point where you're supported and the people around you are supported? Like, the, the ones of us who understand this and even if it's something where you start small in your world, like if it's, and this isn't a small point, having a child and making sure that they are raised effectively and, and ha are stable, that is actually a major point, but it's minor in the sense of it has, a, it has an effect on one person versus like a business might have an effect on so many, many, many people. Um, but with a child, it's just firstly the child and you. Um, but but really focusing on the vision and letting everything you're doing in your world um, feed that. Let everything you're doing in your, in your life and in your daily world feed that and start to take away the things that don't support you. Like, like drinking, um, like doing drugs, like watching a shit ton of TV, um, like being on social media all the time. And I mean, I'm using Facebook now, but I've, I've, been supporting myself to be away from social media and not just do that kind of like addictive clicking back and forth um, on social media and it is it is amazing the effect that you will physically feel from not having that that dopamine rush and, and just being here physically present um, and kind of supporting yourself to uh, to s stabilize those those chemicals that are going on in your brain and uh so cindy's waking up right now i'm gonna stop this live now but anyways this is a good topic it's fun to talk about and i really see that a lot of us really need to strengthen ourselves in terms of what we think we're capable of we really have to let go of that and then just physically push ourselves to do everything that's necessary to build the things we want to create in this world that's the only way it's going to happen there is no magical thing someone's just going to drop in our laps that's going to be like here's the world all great like it's going to happen through our physical effort um, and that's the only way and it may not even happen in our lifetime so we have to physically walk it and create it and build it and that's it all right bye